Yo, what is going on YouTube? On this draft champions, man in 16, about to start the head-to-head -head draft, where of course, first and foremost, you pick your coach, your playing styles, your playbook. And I'm looking at here, I got Boyles, Arians, John Fox, and I saw the pass rush on Ted Boyles, and I was like, oh man, I, I just got I just gotta get that pass rush. You know, pass rush is very important because most people aren't gonna have a decent offensive line. So oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, this draft I had to make some hard, tough, tough, tough choices. But it's only right since I picked the pass rush, the pass rush style. It was only right for me to go with Jason Pierre Paul. And look at this. Andrew Luck, Cameron Wake. Oh my gosh. Uh, I know I'm not gonna go for Yonda. I just I see I see Andrew Luck and I'm like, I need a quarterback. I need a quarterback. And Andrew Luck, I had to pick him. Next round up, I already have a left end in Jason Pierre Paul. Well, I have a right end. So I decided to go with Randall Carr because I do I did need a wide receiver. I just wanted to make a safe safe bet on wide receiver. Next round you got Jarius Bird, Jonathan Joseph, Dante Whitney, who are all extreme like extreme well good players. But I needed that 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 catching. You know Dante Whitney isn't really a coverage safety. So I went ahead and went it longer got Jarius Bird. So we moved along to the sixth round, where of course. My playing style is pass rush, and Geno Atkins just seemed, seemed like the right the right pick for me to go with. And on to the seventh round, Ryan Kerrigan. Looking back at it now, I do regret not picking Ryan Kerrigan, but I don't have a cornerback. I needed a cornerback. As much as I hate the Cowboys, I went ahead and picked Orlando Scandrico. Oh my gosh, Des Bryant. Oh man, you guys already know who I picked that round. On to the 12th round. Do need a tight end, don't have a tight end yet. I was looking at that pound team before, uh, I, picked, I already had a center. I already picked a center who was a 79 overall. And so I went ahead and got Antonio Gates and I did want an Arian Foster, but I went ahead and got LaShawn McCoy in the earlier round. And I do need another cornerback but then again, I was like, uh, I need linebackers. I needed a middle linebacker. Went with Lawrence Timmons. The 14th round. This is how you know I was getting kind of greedy with it. I was getting kind of greedy. I'm looking at Robert Quinn, you know, Carlos Dun Dunlap or whatever his name is. But I just went with DeAndre Levy. So I have a stout full of linebackers in my last round. Like I said before, I want that pass rush. I went ahead and got Jason Taylor, and I'm feeling pretty good about my team. As of course, my overall on defense is an 83. I focus more on defense than anything. And you see my opponent, he has Terrell Davis, Rob Gronkowski, and Vontae Davis. So Vontae Davis versus Des Bryant. That's gonna be a pretty, pretty nice matchup. And you see I started off with the ball first, which I really hate. I hate, I hate having the ball first. I love starting on defense first. But on 39, this is where I knew this is not Madden 15. I tried to go for the low pass. My opponent jumps the route and intercepts it and has a clear path into the end zone. You know back in Madden 15 when you threw that low pass, nobody was getting it unless it was the receiver. So I know now that Madden 16 and Madden 15 are totally different throwing mechanisms. But on first and 10, handing it off to LaShawn McCoy, getting about 7 yards. And on the very next play, LaShawn McCoy picks up the first down. Now I know headed into this game, my offensive line isn't good as you see there. My opponent sends a blitz, a mean blitz, and my offensive line wasn't able to pick up. So he was able to get the ball, but on third and one, you have Terrell Davis just running up the middle. But as you see, we get our first user of the year. Throwing it off to Fuller, who gets the first down. Third and three, just going for the safe route. Throwing it off to Butler, who gets the first down. And on second and eight, I see that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Darth back throwing to Des Breezy. Celebrating his way into the end zone. Throw up the X. Throw up the there we go. I didn't know if I didn't know if he was gonna do it or not. Des Bryant scores the first points for our team. 
as my opponent decides to do the smart thing there. Just hand it off to Terrell Davis. That is the best player on your team. Second and two throws a dangerous pass in DeAndre Levy, who just had a big payday. Shows me why he is one of the best linebackers on my team. And on first and ten, I just got to do it again. I just have to do it again. And that is over Vontae Davis. The aggressive cat. Yo, Des Bryant. Oh, my God. I swear, anytime I do another head-to-head -head draft and Des Bryant is on the board, I'm picking him. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. My opponent gets the ball back with only a little bit left in the first half. Second and 13. He's going to Mike Evans as Mike Evans snags the ball out the air with one hand. And Mike Evans trying to score but gets brought down at the two-yard line. Second and goal. The read option is real. Tries to run the read option as he gets stuffed at the one-yard line. But on third and goal, of course, just do with the safe route. Just hand it off to Terrell Davis, who dives into the end zone. And now my opponent ties the game up 14 to 14. Headed on into the second half. Third and 12. My opponent drops back and finds his man Sammy Watkins for the first down. First and 10. My opponent does a play action. Dropping back. Dangerous pass. But he was able to connect with his wide receiver. Second and four. Handing it off to TD. Who does a mean juke move. Gets the first down. And I was real nervous at this point because... I knew there was no way I was going to stop Terrell Davis. So I was worrying more about the run. But as you see, my opponent gets the great, great passing play. Throws a short pass and runs it all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. So now I'm down by seven. But this is where things get real. This is where you throw to your best wide receiver in Des Bryant. Who's trying to outrun the defense but gets brought down at the 19-yard line. But gives us great, great field position in the field goal range now. First and ten. Seeing that he that he's not containing Andrew Luck. And Andrew Luck has a little bit of wheels on him. Third and one. Can't find anybody. So I'm just trying to run straight for the first down. Which I do. I thought I got stopped there. But it's all good. Because first and goal. Passing it down to LaShawn McCoy. Who might have a beautiful year this year for the Bills. As he ties the game for us in the fourth quarter. But I left so much time on the clock for my opponent. That at this point, I kind of knew that the game was over because there's no way I was going to stop Terrell Davis. I was focusing on pass rushing right there. I was spamming the triangle button, but I guess I over, over pursued that, that angle right there as I over jumped that route. And that just gave my opponent great, great field position to kick a field goal and only leave two. Well, one second on the clock left. But here's where things get really, really weird. He tries to go for an onside kick. Now, if I get this, my first thing is to, is, is to like, you know, just immediately press square and dive to the ground to go for a Hail Mary. But watch this. His own teammate touches the ball before it goes 10 yards. So we get the ball at the 35-yard line. With only one second left. Why would you do such a thing? I made, I, I was praying to God that that meter was full. And as you saw, we were able to kick that 52-yard field goal. And we are headed to overtime. Now, once I was down in this game, well, I was up at first. Then I was down. And then I came back to force overtime. Maybe I could come back and win the game. Third and four, trying to do an aggressive catch with Des Bryant. But I overthrew him. And on fourth and four, I should have just punted the ball, but I was feeling pretty gutsy. But we did not convert the fourth down. And on first and ten, I knew who he was going to. Mike Evans versus Orlando Skandrick. Mike Evans is going to win 90% of the time. I mean, Mike Evans is 6'4". Come on. Come on. 6'4". He's actually 6'5". So I knew there was no way that Orlando Skandrick can, you know, I should have played the receiver. Not the ball. So we do end up losing the game. Our first draft championship game. We lost by three points. But it was an exciting, exciting game. And man, I'm really, really enjoying this. I've been playing Madden 16 nonstop. Like seriously, guys. But if you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. More draft champions coming on the way soon. More awesome team coming on the way soon. More career mode coming on the way soon. This is your boy NSG Commentary. And I'll catch you guys later. I'm out of here. Peace.